Are you struggling to find voiceover work on Fiverr or feel like you've maxed out your potential there? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the world of voiceover beyond Fiverr. So let me guess, you decided you wanted to be a voice actor, you did some Googleizing, and then the first thing you found in your search engine results was Fiverr. You jumped onto Fiverr, maybe watched a few YouTube videos about how to build your profile on Fiverr, made a gig or two, posted your headshot, made some demos in your bathroom possibly, and gave it a shot, and then nothing happened. Or you did get some voiceover training, you do have a quality demo, you built some gigs on Fiverr, and Success, you started making money. Maybe you turned into a six-figure income voice actor on Fiverr, and then all the work seemed to go away. What happened? Two letters, A-I. In the past few years, voiceover revenue on Fiverr has decreased by as much as 70%, and much of it is attributed to A-I. If they're willing to pay a voice actor $5 to do a voiceover, they're willing to pay an AI five cents. Now, I'm not saying that the only type of voiceover work on Fiverr is $5 gigs. There are six-figure income voice actors on Fiverr who make their voiceover gig money not $5 at a time, but $500 or even $5,000 at a time. Fiverr was a pretty competitive voiceover environment before AI swept through it, but now... So what can you do? Well, the answer is... A lot. First, regardless of whether you're trying to book voiceover work on Fiverr or any other place, your job is to be a better storyteller than the robots, which means you need training, quality training from professional coaches who can help you produce quality professional voiceover demos. If you're looking for a list of quality voiceover coaches and demo producers, click the link below and tell them Tom Deere sent you. Now, once you get great training and you get that great demo, you're going to need to have a quality home recording studio. The odds are that if you do any audition or if you book any voiceover project, it will be done from your home studio. So when you audition for a project or you're being considered by a potential client, they're not just evaluating your talent. They're not just evaluating your performance skills. They're evaluating your home recording studio. If you're looking for help getting your home recording studio set up and maybe get some help with troubleshooting or tweaking it, click the link below and you'll get a 10% discount working with George the Tech and his fabulous group of audio engineers. And tell him Tom sent you. I can't wink on that side. Next, make sure you have a quality voice actor website. If you're going to be engaging in any marketing campaigns, you're going to be trying to drive traffic to your voiceover website so they can download your demos and keep you in mind for future consideration. If you're looking for help building or maintaining a quality voice actor website, click the link below. And, uh, well, you know what to tell them. So once you have your training, your demos, your website, and your home recording studio in place, now it's time to explore the world of voiceover beyond Fiverr. How do you do that? Portals. Portals are what connect voice actors to voiceover casting opportunities. And in the voiceover industry, there are three portals. One, representation. We're talking about agents, managers, casting directors. Portal number two, Online casting sites. Fiverr is considered an online casting site, but it's not the only online casting site. Also, Fiverr wasn't designed to be an online casting site for voice actors. It just kind of turned into one. There are many, many, many other online casting sites out there, such as Voice123, Badalgo, VO Planet, and many, many, many more. Portal number three, self-marketing strategies. I'm talking about direct marketing, which is where you target clients and try to develop a relationship with them, or indirect marketing, where you're doing stuff and hopefully getting people's attention. I'm talking about things like blogging and social media. Your job is to define success for yourself as a voice actor, determine which genres of voiceover that you want to excel in, commercials, audiobooks, video games, cartoons, or what have you, and then reconcile your definition of success and the genres you want to be successful at with the portals that you need to use to get the casting opportunities that you want. So that's everything that you need to do to set yourself up for success so you can explore the world of voiceover beyond Fiverr. But this voiceover universe beyond Fiverr is vast and it can be a little confusing. Perhaps this video will help make things a little less scary. <laughs>